Necrosis, and welcome to education. Basically a walking simulator indie, and it's supposed to be pretty short. I don't really know what to expect. I watched the trailer. It just seemed alright. Positive reviews. Yeah, that was a great explanation. New game. And I'm enjoying an IPA. My name is Bart Blake, and I did some bad things in my youth. Yet I had dozens of friends who would stand by me, and parents who supported me through everything. I really did it all in good fun, not considering how I might have hurt someone. After all, many of my victims had a good chuckle over my pranks afterwards. In my nightmares, I constantly replay the good and the bad memories. There's lots of history here. Now here I am, once again, at the path to this school for my youth. I have yet to escape it. Yeah, it... It does sound like a, a high schooler doing the voice acting. Probably the developer himself. I'm not gonna rag on it, not everyone has the voice of Necrosis. My soothing, angelic like voice. I see this game starts like every other. I should move forward. I was moving forward. Towards the car. That I was making fun of because this is how every horror game starts. <laughs> Are there any horror games that don't start with you parking in a forest? Do I ever play? Yeah, we did. We played Dreadout 2 just a few weeks ago, actually. All the other Dreadouts are already on YouTube. Dreadout 2 will be a little while, but it might still be in the VODs. So this game was made in Unreal Engine. Yeah, I think you did. Luckily, it's all archived. Except Dreadout 2, that one's not up yet. We did encode them in my last stream four days ago. So this is an Unreal Engine game. I don't know if that means these are all stock assets, so a lot of times I feel bad or off trying to con complement the graphics when there's always a high possibility that they're just stock assets. But in the case of indie development, it is reasonable to expect it and reasonable to expect them to use it because one person can't make every component of a game. You're not a musician, you may not be an artist, you may not be a graphics designer, maybe you're a programmer or, or a writer. So you either have to hire a whole team to fill in the gaps or you utilize tools. So Yeah. So far, this is exciting. I'm just kind of like building myself into the atmosphere a little bit. I'm giving it every chance I can. All right, Robert Blake or whatever the hell your name was. Maybe it was David Blake. David Blaine? Can I jump? No. Okay, so far there's a whole lot of nothing going on. Okay, holding shift does let me run, so we can now run. Time to speed run this bitch. That's a joy. Hey, welcome to my army. Totally didn't jump scare me. That was something. It was nothing. It was just part of the scenery. Now the game was called Education, so I'm assuming that there's a school or something. But we're in a forest. Oh. There's the school. Who the fuck put a school in the middle of a forest? Would be my first question. 
They even have dumpsters, but how are they getting these out? Can dump truck or garbage trucks navigate this terrain? Hmm. So many questions. I guess this building is inaccessible. Oh, there's a stamina system. Oh, wait. It is accessible. Oh, flashlight. Press F or right mouse for flashlight. Oh my god, look how fast it goes down. Holy shit, that's fucked. Can I recharge? Can I? Oh, I hate freaking battery charging systems. Ay, 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 ay. Been a few games where it's like, fuck that, I pull up cheat engine. Like, I'm giving myself infinite flashlight. I'm not playing your little battery game. I'm just way too lazy today. Welcome back to hell. Hey, it's just like my high school. Yep, as soon as I use the batteries or flashlight, I can see the batteries start going down. I am the Invenoron Seeker of the Dark Hidden Games. Lurk away, my friend. Sounds like you and I are very similar. <clears throat> Dear Diary. Today in class was wear your clothes backwards day. Once a week our favorite. Is favorite supposed to have a you? Favorite teacher, Mrs. Redmond has, has a fun day for us. All my friends and fellow classmates laughed for an hour as we paraded around in our backwards and inside out tops, pants, and jackets. Oh, should I write this? One of my classmates. Well, I'll be honest, he's normally quite annoying. He, anyway... He not only wore his t-shirt inside out, but he cut it so it was upside down. And he did that to his pants, too. I could hear Miss Redmond, Miss, Miss Redmond mutter that it was a bit inappropriate, but at least he was wearing underwear. Shouldn't they be wearing the underwear backwards? I'm just trying to picture how much it would suck having to wear the bra backwards, though. I heard a monster. I heard something. Freaking limited flashlights. I'm gonna assume don't stand in the water bottle. What did I pick up? Camera? I heard a door open. Is there any... See, is there control buttons? Uh, WSD interact flash. Oh. Okay, so we don't know. I think I picked up a camera. I don't know how to use it. I guess they intended for me to only use the flashlight for momentary bursts, or it resets itself. I don't. I don't actually know. Oh, okay. Dear Diary, Mr. Redmond says we should write down our annoyances and worries on the paper. No, that's called a hit list, and that's going to get you in a lot of trouble. Then read them again an hour later, then tear them up. So, there's this horrible student in my class, Bart Blake, one of her most aggressive students. He's the one who will rip your lunch out of your hands and eat it and hit your face to get the ball from you in gym class. When we had our fundraiser day, he laughed in my face when I asked for a donation. Well, get this, wearing his expensive Armani shirt. What a spoiled rich brat. And on top of that, he never does homework or any assignments. Well, if he's rich, he doesn't have to. The rules don't apply to him anymore. He's better than us. Every time I stare at those words and then I'm back in the dark, like, I have like window blinds burned into my eyes, into my vision for a little while. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna not stand on that because I don't know what it does. Sounds like you know something I'm not familiar with. The mirror ritual, you say. Okay, those don't appear to open. I did find one that does. This place is a mess. Okay, these appear to be... 9 volt batteries. Okay, so that's how you... Great. They don't even store them. I can't just press, like, R to recharge. They just... As soon as I pick something up, what did I pick up? I don't know. Whatever, we're just gonna keep the flashlight on. Okay, it's a dead end. Dead end. I don't know what the other thing is that I picked up. Really doesn't say to hell, it says fo hell. There's an it's fake. F O U X is my guess. First, I should check the classrooms. I already did, you butt munch. Actually, this one's not Unity. This one is Unreal Engine. <laughs> I actually would prefer Unity because Unreal Engine, by default, if the developer doesn't know, will launch your VR software. If it's installed. It's like an extra line of code. You have to... Oh, I have a key to something. That's why I've started dreading Unreal. And not only that... Oh, we got batteries here. But... We're gonna not pick them up. Since I still have flashlight. So the Reba Tuner statistics server I like to run, that gives me the, uh, the overlay in the upper right corner. It also is a frame limiter. It doesn't, doesn't work with every Unreal game for some reason. I could never figure out why. This game did advertise itself as being atmospheric. You should be playing it if you want the mood and stuff. Dear Mr. Blake, I'm sorry to say that I have to give Bart all Fs in his classes this year. Wasn't Bart the Armani suit wearing bully? This includes English, math, social studies, art, like we know what six classes he takes. Oh. Not only did Bart fail every single test he has written, if he ever did them at all, but he also failed to deliver his projects, reports, and homework on time, if at all. I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but he has not only failed the class, but also his grade. You tell me a teacher wrote that sentence. <sighs> He's not only failed class, but also his grade. And we'll have to repeat it next year. Might I suggest you book an appointment for him at the optometrist's clinic? Of course, blame it on the lack of glasses. Maybe, just maybe, Blake... He's kind of gamer mindset. What I mean by that is... Our vision sucks because we basically turn down the graphic settings of real life so we get better performance. You know, that kind of mentality. If I reduce some of the settings in real life, then my brain will run faster. Whoever wrote that note... Not, not so. What was that noise? I guess I should investigate the corridor. I'm not done investigating this room. Got a 
whole lot of investigating to be done, but it's all right. I guess. I'm curious about this mirror ritual that Ivan Invin, sorry, uh, was talking about. That's the note we just read to the corridor. Dead. No monsters. There's a broken chair here. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, batteries. Great. I really don't like flashlight mechanics like that, though. Because it's a finite number of batteries. That's not fun. That's new, whatever that is. Is this new? It is. I'm a student volunteer and I've been coming into school during my time off to help with things. They are short. A teacher. I overheard something coming from the staff room. The teachers are still coming in, finishing things up for the year. I heard that Mrs. Redmond's husband, Mr. Redmond, was going to sue Bart's father, Donald Blake. What did he do? A cool feature of your school. That maybe that's what he's suing over. Yeah, it's going to get dark. There's some batteries. Got a key to fuck knows what. Oh, I'm here. Maybe you were onto something. Around the same batteries. Maybe it's to the store. Yep. So far, so good. What happened to the school? Maybe the school asset pack was smaller than expected. We need like an, I don't know, an underground subway or mine cart system. I refuse to believe this was part of the school. Caution. Oh, I don't even have a flashlight anymore. What the fuck? Let's see, this way or that way? This way or that way? That way looks like something. This way looks like nothing. I should move forward. Great. I have my flashlight back. That would be great. Yeah, it's like a minecart. Uh, place. So, what's the deal? Maybe this note will tell me. Donald Blake, owner of the Black Coal Mines, not only employs hundreds of people in the town, but is also a powerfully rich man. Workers and townsfolk alike look up to him for improving the town's economy, taking it from dozens of homeless and destitute people to giving them jobs so they can afford their own homes and become self-sufficient. The Blake family has not only purchased a new property where they aim to build up four-story house on several hundreds of acres, but they have also purchased a vacation cottage on the beach. Donald Blake started at the bottom as a coal miner and worked his way up to being admired and loved throughout the community. Things were looking up for both him and this town. Until he had a kid that sounds like a, some kind of snot-nosed brat and a bully. If anybody fucked up his life, it's gonna have been his kid. That's what what it sounds like. This looks like a puzzle. I don't see anything that might be a hint. There's like little... How are these supposed to line up? I have no idea. What's the end goal here? Did 
Sure hope it's supposed to be all pointing in the middle. Nope. So, did they really just give me a puzzle with no indication of what the solution is supposed to even look like? Like, I... I, I, I get that they gotta line these up somehow, I just... Doesn't, they didn't tell me. Do they all have to point up? Do they all have to point in one direction somewhere? Do they all point towards the outside, like up and down? Can, maybe if they all point towards the door? They all point up. Made a noise. Nope, that's not what that was. How am I supposed to know? Hmm. Let's take a look over here. Maybe there was some kind of hint as to what kind of orientation I'm supposed to be looking for. It's not intuitive. How am I supposed to solve it? Oh, wait, I can't click on them. Wait, I must have solved it then. Oh, uh, nope, now they're... Wait, yeah. But they're not highlighting anymore. Fuck. It definitely makes a noise when I did that, so... That must have been it. But this door... This door give no fuck. Are you telling me that puzzle opened this? I think the puzzle opened the drawer behind us, giving the key. Oh dear. Is this Blake? Are you Blake? Better read this note. Dear Diary, it's all lies in the media about my boss and coal miner, coal mine owner Donald Blake. Never has a been, never has a man been so hated. He doesn't pay her health insurance at all. Out of my, out of my meager wages, I must pay hundreds of dollars each month. I want a joke in the news, taking the homeless and destitute and giving them homes. If you include a small shack with with high rent at home, I don't know of one single coal miner who likes him. When he visits us, he openly derides us, tells us that if we work hard, we'll benefit from it, as if working 12 hours a day has put me any further ahead. Well, I mean, it gave you something to do, if nothing else, right? I got a kettle and a corpse. Gonna hydrate him a little bit. Why not? There you go. Now go, do my bidding. I expect you to work 12 hours a day. And because we're not required to by law, no lunch breaks. You get, you get hot water from a kettle I pour straight into your mouth twice a day. That's it. Maybe that's Blake. It's good to have employees. Hey, we're back to having a flashlight. And we're back in the school. Maybe it's like a flashback type of thing. Locked door. 
Locked door. There seems to be no connection between them. And yeah, I've been in this room before in other games. Can't think of which ones they were, because there's just too many. What is that, a torso? right about this school. Yeah, there's been a few games that we played that were, I think the whole school assets, same one. It was the one about bullying. Uh, it's something like aphrodisiac, but it wasn't that, that wasn't the word. Morphine, I think, is what I might be thinking of. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, sounds about right. Yoink. Ah, uh, batteries over there. Dear Diary. I don't like what's happening here. Besides, Miss Redman, Mrs. Redman being gone now, and the coal miners are struggling to make ends meet. My dad works there. I heard some more bad news. Mr. Redman has been suing Mr. Blake for money. That's usually what people do. You're usually suing for money, for damages or something along those lines, but for money. It's not like I'm suing you for bottle caps. Pay me in bottle caps. Okay, maybe fallout, but, but sadly injustice but sadly justice does not prevail. Donald Blake won the trial, thanks to his highly paid lawyers. How ironic that someone besides him is earning money in this town. Oh, and the police do nothing, despite Bart admitting he broke into their house. So it was the kid. The kid's a little shit. And you can paint toilet paper. My understanding is right now there's too much toilet paper. And people are now donating them to to the uh, the bank, you know, like the food banks and the ones that do the handouts and stuff. Uh, because all the people that stockpile turns out, hey, we, we're fine in terms of toilet paper supply. <laughs> That's why hoarding is just not a, not a good idea. Batteries. I did that. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. What purpose does it serve? I know not. something over here. It's a brain. With a key. That was just a light key hunt slash oddly designed puzzle system. Give me a puzzle and no indication as to what it's supposed to be like to get solved. I'm gonna get a little grouchy. Stranger to darkness. 